you know that you didn't tell me that you got engaged and then I found out from Instagram? What? Guys, it's been a hot minute since this girl's been on the channel. Woo. And she's back. Back and better. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing a mukbang. We got dominoes, Australian dominoes. Now, I just need American so Okay, for starters, like, look at this box size. It's Absolutely literally size in my head. It's so tiny. Look how tiny the pizza are. Are you joking? So, what? roll the story. Shani got two. <laughs> Alright, here's the thing. Grace is like, this deal going like a two for one. Oh, I got chocolate sauce. <laughs> There's two for one. Just look that off. And then I was like, oh yeah, because you're going to have a full leftovers. And then I was like, no, nah, maybe I should get one. And she's like, um, two is why, why would you get one if you could get two for the same price? Yeah. Exactly. And I got a cheesy garlic bread, but mum already had a piece and so did I because I was like, huh, like, like three pieces. pieces. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I think Jonah had a piece and like didn't tell me. I'm trying to dig in. Um, and then I Jesus, got a molten. I am pleasure food. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and then I got a molten lava cake too, but I had to take that out of its packaging because it literally was going everywhere. Oh, and and I got a malt thick shake. Oh my gosh, look how cool that looks. Yum. Yum. And brownies, because you know what we're doing. And brownies. brownies. You go full oh out. wait, wait. Right, I'm gonna go heat this up for like 20 seconds. Do you want me to heat yours up? No, I'm fine. Okay. Now while she's gone, I just want to say, Grace is just like, we have a little present now. This piece is really good. And I'm eating my hair. Hi, Grace. When you're editing. I'm not about to finish my pizza. I'm not even started yet. That's the difference between me and Grace. I'm just like, wow. Keeping yourself entertained. I'm not talking. Just in case you need it. I have a little bib. Oh. Yes. Okay, I'm going to put my hair up. I'm already like demolishing this. Best friends, if you went like going to town, <laughs> so it's gone. Requirement for my friend: must eat like a pig. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I look like a right pig right now. <laughs> look at me. Wow, what a woman. That's amazing. I love your commitment to Hawaii Hawaiian pizza. You can't go wrong. Anyone who says that pineapple pineapple doesn't deserve pineapple doesn't belong on pizza is crazy. It's Whoa. so good. Yeah, that's, there's a lot going on in my pizza. The yellow stuff. It's hollandaise sauce as well. What's hollandaise sauce? Like mayonnaise? Kind of. It's like, um, this is going to sound so weird. You're going to be like, why'd you put this on your pizza? But it's like what they put on Eggs Benedict. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but I've had it on pizza before and it actually tastes so good. Oh. oh. So adventurous. I'm not like that. I'm like, same thing. I'll love it. I'll eat it again and again. Are you like that with like all food? Pretty much. I'll try new stuff. Mm. And then every time I try something new, I don't like it. Mm, ruined. Every time. 99% of the time. When you try something new, you don't like it. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I wish I would have gotten what I really wanted. You know? So does that mean, like, places that you've been eating since you are a kid, you get the same thing that you always got? Like, fast food. Pretty much. Most of the time, like, if I go to Macca's, I usually just get a bit chicken. Very rarely I get, like, cheeseburger. That's or I get, so boring, like, Shani. What? We need to fill the people in. Okay, I want you to tell the story of, like, how we decided to go to Michigan. So this was in... So we went in March. We went for the month of March in 2017. So this is like 18, 18 months ago. Okay, so I mean, I think we both wanted to go in March anyway because of we knew Steph and Kyle's. Wait, do I, do I have to explain the whole Steph and Kyle? Thanks. Oh, okay. So so really quick, really quickly. So how? <sighs> it's like it's such a long, confusing thing. Okay, so basically, I went to college with Shani's sister Sarah. Sarah and me were also really close friends with a girl called Stephanie and we were all friends with a guy called Kyle. Stephanie and Kyle ended up getting together and they got married and during the year before they got married Shani lived in the same house as Sarah, her sister, and Steph and so they became really close friends. So when it came to their wedding we were all in the wedding together, all f like Shani, Steph, obviously because she was the bride, me, <laughs> and Sarah, mm. right? And then Kyle's family flew over from Michigan and he has three brothers and one of them is named Scott. <laughs> okay, so me and Scott, I don't know, we kind of were just like a little bit interested in each other. We like like hit off fam. Yeah. <laughs> His family's been here for like two weeks, so we didn't have a lot of time to get it together. So we're kind of just like, okay, like we kind of are like flirty and but we kind of like live on opposite sides of the world. So what can we do? Yeah, yeah. 
Anyway, so we kind of just like he left and it was really horrible because I didn't get to say goodbye, which was just like, I was literally ugly Kim Kardashian crying. It was like, that's so a, bad. That's the only way I can describe it. Like. I'm an ugly cryer. I am. Like, that's the thing, like, Shani is so happy, like, probably 98% of the time, I would say, at least when I'm with her, like, she's, like, really joyful, really happy, but then it's, like, because she's so happy the rest of the time, when she actually gets sad, it's, like, whoa. <laughs> like, the it's, world is ending. But it's, like, almost funny. Like, <laughs> her emotion is so intense. I think Steph and I have talked about this before. It's, like, your your emotion is so intense when you're sad that it's, yeah. like, you nearly want to laugh. And because your face it's so is so ridiculous. funny. It's so yeah, ridiculous. It's so intense that you're, like, oh, Shani. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> that was a bad night. Yeah, so Anyway, that happened, and then, you know, good old Snapchat connected us, and we're just, like, chatting. Thanks <laughs> God for Snapchat. And then, um, I think Kyle gave Scott my number. Yes, And oh then gosh, somehow oh we started messaging on our actual phones. <laughs> and we were like, you know, like, let's try and, like, plan something to, like, for me to go visit. Or, or like, kind of like it would be good if I could go visit, because... If not, then like this can't really go anywhere, you know, because we hadn't really spent a lot of time together. So cut to mid-February. Yeah, mid-February. And basically the stars aligned in different ways for Shani and I to be able to go. And it was like like two weeks later. We like, like our tickets were booked for two weeks later. Basically, tickets were booked and we had 17 days until we were gonna leave. And we were like, we we were like, okay, like this is happening. And my passport was expired. <laughs> Mm. So I had to pay a large fee I to get about yeah to get my passport renewed and like fast tracked because it takes like you know a long time kind of and we were like kind of stressed about that oh yeah it was very stressful I had to like go get my picture taken I looked terrible in it because I was in such a rush I had to have my photo taken <laughs> so much pressure <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so we had to get all that done anyway it all worked out and we were going for a month so we like mm -hmm. left what was it like second of March and mm -hmm. got back second of April mm -hmm. so. Where was the story going? <laughs> Classic shabby. <laughs> so we go, me and Scott, he, he was working for like full time, so he came like on the weekend, so we spent more time together. And we were like, yeah, we're gonna do long distance, so. The last the day. The last day he the asked me. Last day. He waits that long. <laughs> <laughs> he asked me on the last day, and then, oh, oh my gosh, that was so sad. On the last day, we had to leave. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so then we started doing long distance. And then it was like, was it March, April, May, June, July? Four months later, he came to Australia. Two weeks. That's right. And then, yeah, two weeks here, and then he left again. And then a couple months later, I went in the November, and I was there for three months. So I was there for a, a big chunk of time, which was so cool. Yeah. Christmas, Thanksgiving, yeah. your birthday. Yeah. And what else happened when you were over there? Yeah, Thanksgiving happened. And <laughs> on that trip, he proposed. <laughs> I was like, I really don't know what I'm holding. <laughs> Yeah, Thanksgiving weekend, he proposed um, at a Christmas tree farm, which was so sweet. So. So cute. I know. Oh. Oh my gosh, we've never talked about this, and I... This is such a good thing to bring up. What? You know that you didn't tell me that you got engaged, and then I found out from Instagram? What? Yeah. What? I was driving, I was driving from... But it's funny, I wasn't angry I'm with so it all, though. I'm sorry. No, 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 it's okay, because I, like... Okay, here's the thing. Like, you've got to know about Shani. Like, Shani, like, would... Like never, like I knew when I saw it, I was like, there's an explanation. Like she, her mind's not there. Yeah. Cause I knew that you would never have done that on purpose. No. Like never in a million years. And so I wasn't, I was not angry at all. Oh, I was God. like, I was more like shocked. Cause I Aww. like, I was like, whoa. Cause what happened was I was driving back from Reading to um, Santa Barbara with Amber. Okay. And we're driving down and I'm driving and she's checking Instagram. No. And she's, she's like, Grace, she, she was like, just got proposed to Shani. And I was like, what? I was like, what? Oh my, oh my I was God. like, are you serious? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, wait, what? And then I like pulled, no, I think we were like already pulling over. Like, I think we were going to Starbucks or something. And I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, she got engaged. But then I messaged you straight away. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm terrible. Oh no, no, no. I like, that's the thing. It's like, if it was like literally probably if it was anyone else in the world, I would have been like, why did they do that? Like, but I knew, I knew that you would have just, it yeah. would have just slipped your mind because you yeah. would have been so like in the moment. I, 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 wasn't... I, don't, I don't think, I don't think I messaged anyone because my family were FaceTiming in. So I had already told them on FaceTime. Yes. So in my, I just wasn't messaging anybody. I just like told my family. And, and, and truth be told, like I'm, I'm like probably the only person that you would have like 
Yeah, you would message that either wasn't your family or wasn't already with you. Yeah, yeah. And so it totally makes sense that it would have slipped yeah. your mind. See, yeah, and so I like knew that, but I was yeah. like, it was so funny because I've, I've thought about it so many times, but just have forgotten to mention it to you. I was like, I wonder if she knows that or like remembers that. <laughs> nah. Yeah. And because straight after we got approached, like we went out for dinner and then like, I don't know, it was, it was all, honestly it was a whirlwind, like, because I had no idea it was happening. Yeah. And like looking back at it, I totally understand now because like we went to the Christmas tree farm, went to a little thing, like you take like a photo in the photo booth thing. Mm -hmm. And Scott was like, so I like, can looking back, he was so nervous. Like he was holding onto my hand, like so tight. Like I went to, I would go, I go to walk away and he like wouldn't let me go. And it was, was so like, weird. I was like, okay, so I hold my hand. Like <laughs> I wasn't like suspicious at all. And I thought I'd be the person to know when something's going on. But you honestly don't. And then I didn't even notice he had gone. Like he he left the whole he left the room That's because right. his brothers were like, "Come and try this like candy, this this popcorn <laughs> ball, which was disgusting, <laughs> this candy." And I was like so caught up in it that before I knew it, I was getting handed a letter and like told to follow the instructions. So so as soon as the lady handed you the letter, you were like, "The jig's up, fam. I'm getting proposed to." Yeah, it was like, okay, what else would it be? You know, yeah. like for her to like hand me something, like and nobody else was getting a letter, like. <laughs> I watched, I watched the footage back, they filmed me walking like through the trees and stuff and I was like sprinting. I was like running. Oh I was like, wow, gosh. Shani, keen, keen for the beans. Keen, I mean, keen for the ring. Keen, keen for the better beans. That actually sounds so bad. <laughs> okay. Keen for the ring. Keen for the ring. So, you got engaged. Got engaged. Just a small thing to happen in your life. a small little minor thing. No big deal. <laughs> <laughs> We still had like two and a half months together because he did it two weeks into the trip, which I also was really, that's what caught me off guard because I was like, hey, if he does do it, he'll probably do it a little bit into the trip. How many days before your 21st was this? Like two days. It was 22nd. It's on, I'm 22nd next month. Oh I'm yeah. Wow. Next month. I'm in 22 my... next month. <laughs> wow. Pretty close. Talk about a good uh, birthday weekend. <gasps> I know. That was so good. I want to go back and redo it all. So yeah. So then I was there for two and a half months. I left, um beginning of february i left and then he had he was just here so we were apart for seven months and then yeah seven months and then he by just, the time he got by the time he got here you were engaged for 10 months right yeah that's crazy and yeah. you spent seven of that apart yeah and wow. next month we'll be engaged for a year and now and have known each other for two years in de just in december that's crazy i know that went so quick i know Whoa. Yeah, so he, and he was just here in September for two weeks, so, and then we're here. Oh, I haven't asked you this actually, but like, how was the, how was the sadness compared to when you left America? Mm -hmm. You know what, actually, it wasn't, it was bad, mm -hmm. but not for as long. Yeah, so I think that makes sense though, because, and I'm like so bad, poor, poor Scott, like I cry like, even when he's here, like, the, like days leading up to it, Yeah, I already cried like four or five times before we even left. <laughs> Just like the thought of it makes me so sad. It's like it's only the like the most horrible. Like if any of you know mm. what long distances and you like leaving each other is the worst feeling ever. Oh gosh, it's so imagine. bad. And it's, it's like so bad. I was thinking too, like before, like because I was thinking in the context of you and I. Like I was like, it's so weird to think that like you're one of my best friends and yet we've never lived in the same city as each other. Like I know. Like we've wow, yeah. we've like become best friends and we've never lived in the same city. Like we've always lived in like different states or different cities to each other and yet we've been like so close and then i was like that's literally like her and scott but they've lived in the same like different countries mm -hmm. like you've we've, never we've, lived we've in the same a... country as your boyfriend or your fiance like and yet I you know, like, like you you somehow fell in love and like i know have like made a relationship like it's yeah. crazy I'm honestly like it's crazy to me that we've like come this far because like it is so hard yeah. when you like like even just not being able to do like the everyday things together mm. is really like like I don't know it's just difficult yeah. but yeah I think we've been apart for more than we've been together our relationship mm. so it's gonna be crazy wow. once we actually get married and are together like it's gonna feel so weird but so good at the same time you know what's really weird to think <laughs> is that when you guys got engaged you would have only been face to face a couple for about three weeks Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Because what the heck? Because he proposed to you like the uh, he asked you to be his girlfriend like the day we left. And then did he come to Australia so for like two weeks. weeks? And then he proposed like a week into the trip, right? Yeah, well, like, like two like weeks. A week or two. Yeah, so, so like it was like, like three or four weeks. 
Am I crazy? Isn't that crazy? Mm. Like that just goes to show like the day and age we live in. Yeah. Like, but it's not like we weren't talking every day. Like we were facing no. it like multiple times a day. Exactly. So and that's just not being that physical like yeah. togetherness. And and that's like I think that's just a testament to the day and age that we live in. Because like mm. even like if you think about it on a friendship level, like the fact that we are so close and yeah, we've like always lived apart and like you see like YouTubers and stuff, like like Emma and Ellie and Hannah, like they all live in different states and yet they're also close and always yeah. seeing each other. Yeah. Like yeah, it's literally like so FaceTime normal, and texting kind of. and like all that. It's like you can literally just have like it's never like obviously a substitute for actually like being in person, but you can actually have like deep friendships and like if you're like going through something or like whatever, mm. you literally just FaceTime the person and you're having like a face to face conversation. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's like crazy. It's so weird. I couldn't like even imagine what it'd be like to write letters and stuff, like and not have FaceTime and like phone calls and stuff. Like it would be so hard. Like it's not it would not be possible, like for a long amount of time at least. Like how did you how did people do long distance relationships like before the internet? I think they just didn't. <laughs> Cause like how, like it would be. I mean, I know. I guess they like when like you know, yeah. you goes to war and stuff. Like then they would have have letters, but that's kind of a bit different. Cause you know that they can't mm. like actually call you anyway. They you wouldn't, know, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know the difference actually. No. So it's like they'd probably just be like, oh, we're gonna do what we gotta do. Like I bet you, in like thirty years, kids in long distance relationships will have like some other added technology that they'll be like, oh my gosh, how did people have long distance relationships before this? It would be like teleportation or something. Oh, like holograms. <laughs> yeah. Or something. Yeah. Cut I know. Cut, We're like, going to be like holograms where you can like actually <laughs> just cuddle with the person, but they're not actually there. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so crazy. Rest of my bridesmaid. One of my bridesmaids, by the way. Oh, yeah. Hello. So honored. So privileged. Oh, you should be. <laughs> nah. No, it's, a, it's an elite club. It's an elite club. Yeah. I'm the best of best. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only non relative. Right? Mm hmm. Well, I mean, Sephora would be around until the actual day. Yeah. But still. Still. You're a relative in my eyes. Aww. Mm -hmm. Thanks, honey, you too. Mm -hmm. So sweet. <laughs> what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. I want to get your your recollection or just, like, anything that you remember about us meeting. Oh, yeah. Because I remember the first time I met you. I don't. <laughs> I didn't for ages, but then I, I remember it and me, I was like, okay. To me, it's kind of like a mixture of like every time I come to visit. Because before I moved to Sydney, like um, Grace already knew my sister Sarah. Yeah. And so I'd come and visit and like sometimes Grace would be there and I'd be like, hey. Like just like acquaintances kind of thing. Yeah. And then I know that the only memory of us being close was like the one time we were watching a Vine video together. Oh, and yes. we just bonded over it because it was it was one of the Marcus Jones vines like back in the day. Yep. And it was so funny. Like I had lost it. It was. And like we were both like just like okay, well, like we both actually find these things so funny, and we like are both as crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And I think we were kind of just like yeah, okay, we're like good friends. And then, mm -hmm. well, and then like we got close because like we were the only two that weren't in college. So when everyone else was at college, like we were hanging and out I at visited. the house, and you were visiting, mm -hmm. we'd hang out at the house together. Yeah. I worked from home. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, like, we just got super close. Like, like it was doing... basically, like, inevitable. Yeah. Yeah, like, it wasn't like, hey, we're, like, like, like we're going to hang out. Like, it kind of just happened. Like, mm. it was never, like, one of those things where I was like, oh, hey, like, I want to take you out to coffee. Or, like, I want to yeah. blah, blah, blah. Like, we yeah. literally, it was just, like, a circumstantial, like, thing that we got close. But it was, like, we got close so quick. I know. I didn't even look at it. It was kind of just, like, we've been known each other forever. Yeah. It was sense. really weird. I guess, like, like it's, like, it was really good. I don't, I don't remember, like, actually, like, okay, like, hi. Like, I'm Chantal, you're Grace. I remember. Do you? Mm hmm. It was either like around May ish or like towards the end of the year, but I don't fully remember. In 2017? No, 2015. 2017 was last year, you goober. <laughs> you goober. <laughs> you goober. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, well. No, 2015. Okay. Wow, so long ago. That's crazy. But I remember okay. I met you and I said, I said, Wait, you have blonde hair. Where was it? I think oh, yeah. it was at church. Blondage. I'm pretty sure it was at church. Okay. And I remember I met you and you were with Shani and... Uh, you, were, <laughs> you were with Sarah and Maggie. Oh, yeah. And I said, I came up to you and I was like, oh, hi, Shani. Because I'd heard so much about you, obviously. And I was expecting you to be a certain way because of what Sarah had said about you. Like, good things. Mm. So I went up to you with, like, all these preconceived notions of, like, good, <laughs> good preconceived notions. But I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, she's, like... So funny, like, sh I've seen videos of her, like, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so I walk up to you, and I was like, hey, Shani, I'm like, my name's Grace, I've heard so much about you. And she was oh, like, and you were like, oh, really? 
<laughs> and you're like, hi! Oh, really? And then, like, I remember being like, okay, she's not mean, like, at all. Like, it wasn't that you weren't sweet or anything, but I was just like, well, I was there, what I thought. Like, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. okay. Yeah, I'm definitely more quiet to begin with. Like, I'm, like... More is yeah reserved. Like, yeah, I'm, not, I'm kind of shy to like when I first meet people. Yeah, and I was like, I remember thinking before I met you from everything that Sarah had said and like watching videos of you and stuff. I was like, there's no way that we're not gonna be friends. Like from from the thing, and then I remember like when I actually met you, I was like, okay, maybe we're not gonna be friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's horrible. I'm so mean. But not like no, not because she was mean or anything. But I was just like, so maybe wasn't that outgoing. Yeah, like maybe our personalities weren't hit up because I felt like. I might have been a bit overpowering for you or something, maybe, from like our first interaction, because I, I think I went into meeting you different to how I would any other person, like any other person okay. I didn't know anything about, because okay. I already was kind of expecting you know, right. in a certain way. Right. Or whatever. Anyway, so yeah, and then prizes, her, you know, full prizes. <laughs> but like, she didn't make a bad impression on me, like at all. Mm. I was just like, oh, cool. She, like, she's a little bit more reserved than what I thought. But now I know that Shani is shy when you first meet her. Like, that's mm. just what she's like. And. Anyway, and then I remember uh, the the next memory I have of us was on the same day that that Vine thing happened. But we were, we went to um, oh, what's it called? Get it. Sorry, um, Frango's. Okay, and we were sitting around a table, <laughs> and oh I was God. sitting there, and you were sitting next to me, and you were laughing at everything I was saying. Really? Everything. And I was like, God, damn, like, I'm funny. I felt. So I actually felt that's probably the best I've ever felt about my humor in my life. Like, no joke. Like, she was laughing at everything, and I literally thought to myself, like, wow, I'm actually funny. Because, like, people, like, laugh at me occasionally, but, like, Johnny was laughing so much at me that I was like, oh my gosh, like, my humor today is like, <laughs> And then you realize, uh, <laughs> and then I realized once later, I was like, okay, she literally laughed at, like, everything. <laughs> but at, at the mo like, at that time, I was like, wow, like, I'm so funny. And I was like, oh, this is, this is but, good. But, like, I legit think you are so funny. Yeah. Also, can we talk about how gassy this Pepsi make Max makes you? I know, I'm like, mm, I want to burn 500 times. <laughs> also, Pepsi Max is the bomb. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you have to say. It's the best kind of cola. I don't care what you got to say about it. No cola comes close to Pepsi Max. No cola? Yeah, that's what, that's what, like, the black fizzy drink is called. Any black fizzy drink. So Coke, Diet Coke, all that. Coca Cola. Oh, yes. Yes. Pepsi Cola. It used to be called Pepsi Cola back in the day. Oh. Yeah, so that's the best. Cola. I don't like normal Pepsi. I don't like normal Coke. Have you never had cola before? Like, have you never had like a cola lollipop? Mm, okay, or heard yeah. of a cola lollipop? Okay, cola? yeah. yeah and, like, so. and like the, the Woolworths brand cola, which is poo. Right. But I can't do anything like Diet Coke. It has to be Diet Coke. Mm -hmm. It has to be Pepsi Max. Tastes yeah. better. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's, Scott, even, it's, it's like, hell, I'm Diet Coke. I, I do not like the taste of normal Coke. Neither do I, it's disgusting. Uh, yeah, I'm so glad. Wow. Oh my gosh, let's talk about how when I would come to your house in Sydney, how I would always have like 500 bottles of Pepsi Max in the fridge every time. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yeah. It would end up being like not the small ones, it would be like the two liters because they were cheaper. Because they were cheaper. So yes, it was like, and I would buy like, came. I would literally, if I was coming for a week, I would buy four. Oh my gosh, we're addicts. We had can't stop, won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. We had some really uh, crazy food antics in that house. Like we would just always eat it was so bad. Oh yeah, yeah. It was bad. It was like when someone wow. has like a craving of something, you're like, okay, yeah, I'm yeah. trying. It's like there was eight girls in the house. Like there was always a craving going on, or like always mm -hmm. something bad going on. <laughs> so you pretty much always <laughs> there was always something bad. Like someone was always having a mental breakdown, and so we were. <laughs> having men and jerry's at some point like it's just what happens it's not a bottle <laughs> but that was, that was, oh those my were, like, gosh good times. i miss it like re recently i've been like i actually miss the mingara house so much yeah we had so much fun and even like the half people i know i knew there have now moved back to their uh, countries yeah <laughs> that's the sucky thing about like being in the college atmosphere is it's like within like three years it's like everyone is gone yeah and you're just like Whoa. it's rough i feel like this slowly turned into like a Chit chat, get it ready with me. <laughs> Chit chat, get ready with me. Oh, you know what I should do? I should heat this up. Mm. Oh, yeah, we still got dessert. Oh, can't finish the video without. Do you want to? Are you going to heat them up or are you just going to. Girl, you know what I've got up there? Yes? No. No, okay. <laughs> I'm leaving you alone again. Yeah, like, I have no idea what you're saying. This brownie better be good. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 
Wow. This brownie's actually so good. Don't worry, it's great. Who knew a pizza place? They make really good brownies. Oh my gosh, yeah. It's so rich. Whoa. Sorry, I just wanted to test that lighting. Is that better? I feel like it's better without it on, but also get this shadow. So crazy. What do you think about the, uh, about the light being on? It's fine. It kind of brightens it up. Love that. Ready? Yeah, because it's starting to get a bit darker. See? Ooh. Yeah. I know it's been changing the video, but it's fine. It doesn't matter. We're not about high production quality here. I'm trying to just tell myself that if Emma Chamberlain can do it, then so can I. Oh wow, duh. How good does this look? This brownie's really good. Is it? Mm -hmm. Is it like little mini bites or is yeah. it like one? No, it's cut up into little bites. Oh my gosh, look at this. Whoa. <sighs> wow. Mm. We have gone all out. Man, we have covered some wide topics. We have. I so think close. we like succeeded in the mukbang, like with the amount of food we ate. I think like, the whole time I was like, whoa. That was really good. You look good. In this one. What do you mean? Like your skin just looks really good. Oh, because of this new lighting. <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's fine, guys. You need to make a YouTube channel. Huh? You need to make a YouTube channel. I have one. What? What do you mean? Do you really? Have you made videos? Shut up. No, you have not, Chantel. But they're really embarrassing. Guys. But they're really embarrassing. I'm going to, I think my, my first one's on private. Because Shani, you're showing me. No, I'm not. Shani. Like, I'm literally a different person because I'm so not used to I don't care. I want to see. No, it's so embarrassing. Part of, you, part, of you, part of you wants me to see it. I don't no, I it don't. Just, I like, really don't. It's like a tiny little bit. That's why you said it. Wait, how many videos have you made? I don't want to lie to you. That's why I said it. Okay, true. Oh, How many videos have you made? Three. When? One's with Harry, one's with Sarah, and one's just with me. When? Like a couple months ago. I haven't made any okay, in a while. Okay. I haven't made any in a while. Okay. I'm just not that proud of them because I'm... Well, I don't know. You've literally just got to start. Like, I you've know. literally just got to put them up. One up, up is the oh accent challenge, God. and one with Harry is oh. blindfolded what's in my mouth thing with Harry. Shani, it's we so are watching those. I am so excited. Oh my gosh. I did not know that this was going to turn into watching Shani's YouTube video. <laughs> Shani, you should tell people what they should do. Um, like and subscribe. Oh, yeah. Um, subscribe to my channel. It'll be linked below. No. <laughs> hey, low key though. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You don't have to. Yeah, I mean, hey, I've got I've got many subscribers to share with you. 112. <laughs> nice. I think I'll have one. So we hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs> you really just like the camera, I guess.